Good morning. Uh, it's day 23, I believe. We're making this nice walk down this nice rock-sided path. It's actually very nice. I know I just said nice, nice, and the skies are looking like they're going to clear up. It was supposed to rain, so we got a little bit of a later start to try and miss it. Well, it didn't rain at all, but we have a very short walk today. It's probably the shortest of the whole Camino this year. It's only going to be about 14 kilometers because that's where the town is that we can stay unless we want to go, what was it, 26, 36, 40? Nah, none of us are going 40. Though unfortunately we are now down to five. Um, we had six and last night. One of the women, just her knee, she could not make it yesterday. It was, it was tough. Yesterday was definitely the hardest day so far. Going up 1,500 feet, coming down, going 1,200 feet, coming down. It's, uh, it's tough for Rob, so I wished her well. And uh, hopefully she can recover from that. Because, yeah, sometimes injuries on the Camino stink. So we've made it to our first town today. No idea what it's called. This is the church. I just heard the bell. But it's not really 5 o'clock. It's more like, I don't know, 9.40. Whew, uphill so far. Well, we've come up another thousand feet this morning, which we're gonna give all back in about, I don't know, an hour and a half. It's kind of what we've been doing. Unfortunately today though, not as much of a view to see because we're in the woods. The nice thing is, it's nice and cool and we're in the shade and we have been for half the walk up the hill. So yeah, we're good with that. Anyway, I hope we get to see something soon, and if we do, we'll show it to you. Oh, oh, watch out for that rock, man. Just jumped up right in front of you, Rob. Still on the Gier, now walking along this plateau, but there's this big, huge parking lot here. And there's only like uh, a couple cars and another RV back there, but it's huge. And I don't know why, because I haven't seen any other signs. Maybe there's something cool coming up, or it's just a campground. I don't know. But we'll find out. There's a lot of stuff up here. Some old rocks, some trees, and some signs to say don't go this way. So, and there's a big X for the Camino, and a big arrow that says Camino this way. So, oh, we're only at 425 meters. What is that? 1350 something, 1400 feet, something like that? I don't know. Do the math. Um, yeah, anyway. Maybe only 1,300. Uh, I can't do math right now. I don't know why. It's all good, but that's a beautiful view up there. And this is a big parking lot for something. Maybe people go hiking and biking and stuff like that. I don't know. We just walked through it for really no reason, though, because now it's sending us back this way. We could have just cut it off. Of course, we did that. We wouldn't have seen whatever that is. So we, oh, man. We walked right by it. There's a sign. Oh. What a wasted video segment. If we only would have seen that earlier. We'll check it out and see what it is. And then we'll go from there. Talked about the Camino. Ooh, and it's a part in English. I'll zoom in on it. You can read that. Well, we've come out of those woods over there for a little bit, not for too long. It is a bit windy, but oh, it's a nice, nice bit of wind. And we're on this big, I don't know, I guess this is bedrock? I don't know, it's really huge. No, not the flintstone bedrock, but uh, it's pretty neat. And we get a little bit of a view until we go back into the woods over there. So I guess we didn't actually go back into the woods yet, but we're gonna, I can tell. We're right up here on this, you know, big flat rock, there's a looks it's a, i mean it's just, it's rock circles but it reminds me again of pet cemetery except there's no way you're going to bury anything under this rock because yeah it's it's a pretty darn big rock and i haven't seen a mark so hopefully we're going that way otherwise we got to go back we just start going downhill Yeah, 
yes, there is a path in here somewhere and we're on it. It's like almost like we're blazing our way through this stuff. I mean, if you look down, way down there, yeah, there's a path, but whoo, Rob is running into everything. Ah, there we go. Woo, out of it for a little bit, but it's gorgeous out here. Wind, I don't know what these beautiful yellow flowers are, but they smell good. Mm. It's kind of cool what the wind does to the light. It just moves around constantly, but look at that. That's pretty neat. Of course, we prefer it to be more light because this is very rocky, but that just looks neat. It's like a special effect for a movie or something. I don't know for what, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool. All right, that's enough. I gotta pay attention. There's box. Might be one of the last views we get today. Uh, Cause down there, I think it's our town. Though I doubt we're staying in that that newer part because it looks industrial-ish. But the old part looks like it's over there. And it's beautiful over there on the hill. Look at that. So Lodev is turning out to be a pretty big town. I don't know much about it at all. Other than the Camino goes here, and this church looks pretty cool. I know that. Ooh, and the sky's blue and the sun's hot. This is the inside of the cathedral. Here in Lodev. Look at all the pretty lights. And it has a cloister. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, look at all this. We love cloisters. Yep, this place is pretty cool. We had no idea it was gonna be here because we know nothing about this place. I guess we should. So it looks like the carnival has come to town. It must be a holiday that Rob doesn't really know about. Actually, someone told us the holiday was coming up, but it's not a holiday we have in America. At least, I don't think it is, but I'll find out what it is. But yeah, it's like the carnival. Bounce house, you can ride ATVs. And it's right outside the city hall and the, the church that we were just at, the cathedral. And they even have their own little Disneyland. It's kind of a thing in France. I remember Isaac and I came out here. There's like bizarro Disneyland in the middle of Saint. But yeah, that's definitely uh, Mickey and Minnie, and she's pretty bizarre. <laughs> Ooh, I love those things. Oh. They have like a Pirates of the Caribbean, but it's not really Pirates of the Caribbean, but they're trying to be. 